I'm home cooked, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you around? So did you always go by silk? Yeah, I went I went by um at first I went by just silk by itself. I'm saying it wasn't no name before silk. It was just silk by itself. Yeah, it was just silk. Okay. Um and what happened was um the group Silk mm. sued me. Damn. Right. They tried to sue me, right? So they're like, oh, change um as I start blowing up a little bit, they're like, change that name, right? So I'm like, okay. So what I did was I put two K's on it. Yeah. Like my first record was called The Shocker, right? So they're like, they ain't good enough. It's a classic. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. They're like, they ain't good enough. So they're like, okay, cool. So once they did that, I had to I had to change it again. So everybody called me the shocker anyway. So mm -hmm. we just put two and two together. There you have it. You know what I'm saying? Glad, thank you, Silk. Thank you, Group Silk. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. So so listen. So when you go into the studio, your first or say the first couple of studio sessions, right? Mm -hmm. What? How did a young Silk the shocker develop the style, the infamous style, the the the, the double time stutter step? Rapping off beat, whatever they want to call it. How did how did you come up with that, or was it just natural? You know what? I was just being myself. Um, I think the first record, man, I did. I think I can't remember the word. Oh, it was "Ghetto Trying to Kill Me." Okay. Right. So if you go back, I thought I was like, um, I thought I sounded horrible. I'm like, I sound like a little baby, some <laughs> kind of girl. Like I'm like whatever. But you know what it is? It's like when you mm. speaking. Like, kind of like a, you know, like just real, cause I was in the like I was really in there. Mm -hmm. I was just rapping like two keys a day. You never seen yeah. someone, you know, like yeah. three o'clock up in the morning chopping. I was just going. I mean, in. It sounded heartfelt, you know. It, that's I was, why I, I resonated. Cause I was it was in real. I was yeah. in court. I was yeah. in that thing. I was like, um, I just saw my boy pass away. Like, you know, I was like, I was really in it. So when I was rapping, I just I don't think even I don't think I even wrote it. I was just rapping, and that's kind of like been my consistent thing of. Um, just being before, I was talking to somebody, uh, actually um, QC, whatever, and it was just like, you guys are one of our favorite rappers. Of course, Pete was his favorite hustler, but he was like, man, you was before your time. He said even uh, Lil Baby and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, he 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 reminded me of you a little bit and stuff like that. I thought that was dope that, um, mm -hmm. that and, and, and I was supposed to do something with Lil Baby too, so the level of respect was there. So even going back to that, when I first did my first, my first um, project, um, oh, that's his first song. I felt that way, but that song, the mom, uh, "Ghetto Trying to Kill Me," mm -hmm. in a bay was crazy. But it it was me on it, and the yeah. people was like, "Who was him?" And from E40, E40, uh, everybody was just like going crazy, you know, going crazy over that particular song. That yeah. I my verse, right? So I kind of was like cool, but when I knew it was crazy. I was at the um, I don't know if I told you before, but I was at the video a video shoot with um, E40, Spice One. And I think Tupac came through, mm -hmm. and man, I, I I can't make this up. It's no lie. I was just I was young, but I was wild. So I'm looking around, and I'm just like, uh, and I just see I, this is crazy. I, I don't know if I told people before, but I seen Tupac, and I'm just looking, and Tupac is like looking at me, like like really looking at me. And I think I was talking to E40 or something. He was like, man, you so you, you cold, man. You a you cold young man. Let let's get let's do something, whatever. And then I seen Tupac, and he was like, um, just looking at me, but I was like. In the street street, so I'm like, yo, you got one more time to look at me, and I'm, <laughs> I, but but then E40 was like, no, nah, we were just listening to your music in the car, and, and Pac was like really going in with it. I'm like, oh, this is crazy, but I didn't really know Pac like that yeah. until I know Pac way later yeah. on. But I just thought he's a regular dude. But when I pulled, you know, I did the homework, it was like, oh, when E40 mentioned it and stuff like that, I was like, oh, that's crazy. But I was young, so, um, but yeah, I, I was just. So Pac was over there looking at you like Bishop. Yeah, I was gonna say, did he just say yeah, he, he tried to run the fade on yeah, Pac? Yeah, he was on some Bishop. I, shit. I wouldn't say I run the fade on, but no, but no, it was. But you know what? It was like this because I, I don't know. I was just had chip on my shoulder on everything. Yeah. So he was just looking like, like I, you know, somebody you, you know you like, yeah. like he was just looking, and I was just like, I think you're looking too much. But that was just me just being that was just like you dumb. tripping out. <laughs> you know, yeah, just tripping. Like he, yeah. he wasn't really looking like that. Like I'm mugging you. He was just yeah. looking like. I just we just listen to your music type of thing. I same thing happened. I was I met Drake one time, and I was same thing. I so I I was in I was I think it was at the um, the the I think a music award, and it was when first when he first came out, and I was just I was just kind of I just was bumping it like this dude is talented. Mm -hmm. Seen him, and he, he rec recognized me stuff like that. But I guess he must have thought I was want to do a song or something. But I was just like, yo man, this is this is dope. You're a dope artist. 
um, just, you know, it's going to be a little tricky mm -hmm. being young and in the game. So I was giving him the game. But he thought I wanted a, 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 a track, so I wasn't even thinking about that. But I thought that, you know, it was just a cool little cool little dude. And, of course, he's Drake now. But um, Yeah, I got a funny Drake story, yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, Drake, Drake be on one. He, he, he a little slickster. But I was, uh, I actually was having a meeting at mm -hmm. uh, Philippe, uh, Philippe Childs, mm -hmm. uh, the one that Manny used to own. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I was there doing a meeting, mm -hmm. and I was there with uh, A.J. Johnson, the actress, mm -hmm. and we was meeting down there about something I was helping her with. And so I guess I, apparently he must have thought that we was together, mm -hmm. you know, so he came in with his family, and we were sitting in a little private area. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> I seen him looking, you know, mm -hmm. and he, but he didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. I get up, I go to the restroom. I come back from the restroom, he mm -hmm. over there <laughs> talking to A.J., you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, you know. And so when I came back, he was just like, oh, man, you know, much respect, man. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to tell her I was a fan, you mm. know, woo, 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 you know. Okay. But I'm thinking you could have did that while I was oh, just sitting here. Like, okay. it wasn't nothing like that with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, why you couldn't come over and say, hey, I'm a yeah, fan. Yeah, you know? yeah. But shout out to Drake, though. Yeah, yeah, you know no what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I mean, he was, he was still very pleasant and respectful, mm -hmm. but. I was like, why well, I had to get up? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For you to come, you know, he was on something, you yeah. know what I mean? But um, but so you do the ghettos trying to kill me, mm -hmm. and then you know, you catch a little buzz. So whose idea was it for you to go solo? I mean, because you were just coming off of doing a feature, you know what I'm saying? So what, you know, what how um, did you have that that confidence to say, you know what, I'm finna do this solo? I, you know what? I didn't, mm -hmm. and then the people spoke, man. They just mm -hmm. I mean, man, I did this one song, if you go back, I think it was on P record, and it was it was hard, man. It was it was hard. And I think it was a small intro. I can't remember what it was, I'll find out later, but it was a small intro, and I'll tell you, I I ripped it. Mm -hmm. By that time, it was the everybody was like, gotta come out with a record. Yeah. So that time, I, but I was, like I said, I was just in the, when it's time to go to the studio, I, I, you know, I don't really write much. Right. I was just speaking off the dome, and I think the, the Shaka album proved it, like, it was just, it was, yeah, it was definitely before it's time. Like The, the Shaka album is probably personally one of my favorite albums. I can yours. see that. I can see yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. It's, Especially, one, it's one of the best, I think, in yeah. No Limit catalog. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, salute my yeah. guys. <laughs> I, was in, I was in Sacramento at the time, so we wasn't that far away. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when it was buzzing with yeah. all that 99 yeah. ways to die, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, it was, you know, mm -hmm. we was 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, right. I remember it all coming out. But yeah. That, yeah. yeah. No, it, it and it felt like, I didn't know it at first, but it felt like, um, it was just me just doing it. So I guess I always been a story kind of could, could put stuff to paper, but really just put stuff out. Mm -hmm. So the people will would um would just be would would actually say that. Mm -hmm. So when it was time to put a solo record out, they just wouldn't accept nothing else but a solo record from me. Like they they was like, We're gonna boycott y'all if you don't come out of the record. So I had to go in the studio. Uh, that I, I did the album quick as heck, just kinda got some tracks and stuff and mm -hmm. And it was just coming to me like because uh, that's that's before uh, Beats by the Pound came out. You were still working with because I don't re remember Beats by the Pound having no music on on Silk on Shocker. On the Shocker, nah. It seemed like it was all like K. Lou and and kind of those Bay Area. Uh, yeah, because it wasn't nothing kind of bouncy on it. Oh, it still might, it was still kind of Bay Area influenced a lot. Would you, might be, you say? Might be right about that. Shaka. Yeah, I mean the yeah. Shocker. You might be right. Yeah, I, but I did work with Carlos Nim, mm -hmm. XL. I think mm -hmm. was on there. XL did something on oh, Shocker. Let me see. No, no, no. It was like Moby, like Cuz and all those. Yeah. But no, so you have to, no, take that back. I gotta find out. That's a good question though. Yeah. Um it, it definitely was different, but I know I know Carlos was on it. Mm -hmm. Um Damn, was Mike Diesel on the moon? Nah. Nah, I don't think he is. Nah, yeah, I gotta I gotta see the producers. Here. Yeah, that that's that's a different So so a lot of people again, they 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 always, you know, no limit is synonymous with mm -hmm. the independent grind. Mm -hmm. Like, what was that? I know what it was like because mm -hmm. I came around 95, 96. Yeah. But what was that 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 grind like, you know what I mean, in that time? Like, take us into the headspace of U and P and C, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. you hadn't yet made it. It was something you was chasing at that time. Like, what was that grind like? Was you hitting cities? I mean, I'm sure yeah. it was hitting these little, yeah. you know, chitlin circuits and the propensity for, for fighting and, 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 and shit, crazy shit happening, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, what was did you experience crazy stuff out on the road and and that whole grind trying to really get it to pop before it popped? Yeah, well, it was different for us because man, the hustle was through the roof. I mean, we would um 
we would be like um, outwork everybody, <clears throat> no sleep, wear the same clothes three or four days in a row. Mm -hmm. um, the grind was real, but you know when you really want it and you don't have any other option. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I, I would say P more um, laid the charge on that because mm -hmm. hustling wasn't really my thing. Um, I mean, if you know what he do, not do now, so it's like he he grind. Mm -hmm. So that's the same way he was before. So I have to say in that perspective, salute to him because if it was on me to mm -hmm. do it, I wouldn't have got no limit to there. Yeah. You know, I'm good now. I'm smart right. and stuff now. But at that time, it, it took it took that because we would I would have been good with, a, you know, half a million, a million. Right. But then I would have probably, you know, tricked that, you know, messed that off and whatever. And then, but I think the consistency he knew about it. That's why we would we would find ourselves in the craziest places selling CDs mm -hmm. and like I mean one time we went to a place. I mean they was like imagine going to your hood like but the worst hood like right. Let's say if we go in, if, in Compton if let's say Compton how Compton was or or I don't know if you talk Oakland whatever. But imagine some dudes that ain't from there just pull up in the middle of the hood yeah. and be like, yo, I got these CDs for sale. Mm -hmm. Now, you're going to be like, somebody going to go crazy, going to go off on these two, these dudes coming in there. But I remember one dude was like, you, you got to be kidding me. Y'all back in our hood. I'm talking about these was real hitters, yeah. right? Like, y'all back here? Y'all got to Y'all got to be. Y'all the police or something? Because y'all 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 crazy, yeah. right? So that, that's their mentality, right? So they really was thinking about like doing us something, but they're like, you know what? I respect what y'all trying to do. I don't get it. Y'all crazy. That's like, that's like jumping in the lion's den, whatever. But mm -hmm. snake pit. But you know what? We all getting money. I don't. I don't understand y'all, man. But give me them CDs. Oh, my fault. My fault. Give me them CDs. You know what I'm saying? And um, and 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 he go he go hundred bucks. Now get out of here. So yeah. we was doing stuff like that, but we were so naive and dumb. Mm -hmm. What well, we we try, we had to get it that we didn't even think about the safety. We just yeah. like, we all in D.C., we all in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the thing about it is, like I said about being a, a cub, it's like, you don't know any better. You right. just wand in the world, you know what I'm right. saying, freely. Did y'all ever get into any shit? Of course, of course. Yeah. There was, was some the people. What was the craziest, like, thing, trying to build no limit, the craziest <laughs> I, shit that happened? I know you heard about the story in the Oakland, whatever, we we fighting, and, um, we in a yeah. club. We, we from one? Richmond. We from Richmond. Yeah. But we was in Oakland performing, which you're not supposed to be in. And we just, uh, it kicked off, man. It was crazy. We, we got into a, a pretty, pretty serious fight. Um, what happened? Walk us through it. I don't know if I know this one. You don't know this one? The, yeah. the one I lied about, somebody stepped on my foot, that one? I'm sure you heard that one before, Kurt. Court. Yeah, but tell us again. <laughs> I think I was, I was just young, uh -huh. and I just wanted to fight. Um, so we in Oakland, and I'm just chilling, and then... Yeah. Um, some dude walked past. I ain't like the way he looks, so I'm like, oh, okay. So I just said, oh, man, he stepped on my foot. And then everybody, looked, you know, whoever with us was like, you did what? So damn, boom. Whole club started fighting, boom, boom, boom. It's going to go crazy. Yeah. And it was, it's crazy because I, it almost got us in trouble. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we could have, I ain't going to go into too much detail, but we could have got, you could have been, um, you know, could have yeah. took the shock and pee in the Yeah, I know, the, I know that part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that part. But I mean, I mean, like I said, to me, it's like, you know, no matter what happens, um, it's supposed to be that way. Mm -hmm. um, us coming from the Calio Project, it's supposed to be that way. I mean, we could have been born in Beverly Hills, but we wouldn't have been Sucker Shock and No Limit, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I take everything with a with a grain of salt where it's like um, just trust the process, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. yeah.